Hello again, I'm Pastor Greg Williams and this is my wife Brenda. We're from Grace Lutheran Church in Hendersonville, North Carolina. It's a joy to be with you again for this time of devotion, our Thursday night Vespers. Uh, this will be our last Vespers with you since Grace has begun returning to in-person worship. Um, we're going to conclude the Thursday evening Vespers and invite you to join us for worship on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. You can do that online or you can register to come in person on our website and just click on that link each Monday morning, Monday through Friday at noon. It's open until we reach the capacity of 100 people. It's a joy to reach that milestone and we look forward to moving even past that. So as we get ready for our time together of uh, scripture and meditation, prayer and song, I invite you to, to light your candle once again. Brenda has already lit ours for this evening. That candle reminds us that the light of Christ glows brightly in our lives and Christ is with us in our time now. Let's pray together. Loving God, still our hearts and our minds from all the busyness of this world that we might be fully present with you to hear and, and understand what you would say to us from scripture and in song for our lives today. Amen. I wanted to kind of pull things together for us this year as we end up. It's been almost a year since we've been doing Vespers by looking at Psalm 86. We're going to look at the first eight verses of Psalm 86. You can turn to that uh, while I'm talking. But it says it's a prayer of David, a supplication for help against enemies. It's been a long year in our pandemic separation from one another, being careful. And one of the things that, that I've appreciated and grown to appreciate even more is how Jesus has been with us and invited us to, to rest in the certainty of God's care and God's presence with us. Especially when we haven't been able to see one another, to encourage one another's faith. And this psalm reminds us of that certainty that God's with us, that God's steadfast love and faithfulness abides all the time. So Psalm 86, verses 1 through 8, listen while I read for us. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In my day of trouble I call on you, for you will answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. So we can probably identify with David's prayer to help us because I've felt poor and needy this year, needing for companionship, for friendship, for community in person, for conversation over a cup of coffee or, or sharing a meal together with friends. I love doing it with Brenda, but it's also good to have family and friends join us and join with them too. We've missed that. We've cried out. And as this year has gone on, public health has helped keep us safe. Vaccines have been developed and and are being given now and I hope you've gotten yours and if not I would encourage you to do so so that you can feel safe getting out and about again for God works through medical science and vaccines too to care for us. God's preserved our lives. God, even those who've lost their lives due to this pandemic, God holds their lives in His care and presence forever. 
we prayed for God to gladden our souls, to lift up our spirits, and we've, we've had that from time to time as we've been able to gather uh, through video conferencing, worship online. I was excited and my soul was glad when I got my first vaccination. Ah, I don't have to be quite so careful. I still wear my mask when I'm out and about and in groups just to be safe and to respect those who may not have gotten a vaccine yet. But didn't that lift up our souls to have vaccines starting out and be able to be out and about a little more? But the thing that, that really has sustained me in this time and, and even given me hope for beyond because the psalmist says, You, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. I was reminded that, that God has been forgiving, showed me an immense amount of grace, and that God's steadfast love has a, been that safe place of comfort, of peace, and of hope to rest. Because I knew that however the pandemic played out or continues to play out, that God's steadfast love was going to be there for us. And that even beyond that, even beyond this life, that I can be at peace, that I have hope and comfort because God's steadfast love holds me fast. God's steadfast love endures forever and never lets us go. Other Psalms talk about we can, can't go anywhere and escape God's presence, escape that steadfast love. God's steadfast love has provided for us from birth all the way through life and beyond bringing us to eternal life. And of course, Brenda has a wonderful song that reminds us of how God holds us and provides for us from birth through death and beyond. It's one that many people like and find meaningful. We sing it at baptisms and we sing it at memorial services. And some of you probably guessed, yes, it's born in Christ. Thank you, Brenda. I was sad to hear your morning cry. I'll be there when you are on. I rejoice the day you were baptized to see your life unfold. I was there. With a faith to suit you well In a place of light you wandered up To find where demons dwell When you heard the wonder of the word I was there to cheer you on You were raised to praise living Lord to whom you now belong if you find someone to share your time and you join your hearts as one I'll be there to make your verses rhyme from dusk till rising sun in the middle guide you through the night, complete what I've begun. When the evening gently closes in, and you shut your weary eyes, I'll be there as I have always been, with just one more surprise. I was there I'll be there when you are old. I rejoice the day you were baptized to see your life
Yep, makes, <laughs> makes a lot of us get choked up, doesn't it? Even me. Imagine that, those of you that know me. <laughs> but born in cry, we got away to one more surprise at the end of life, which really isn't a surprise because Scripture tells us all about it, that God's steadfast love holds us fast. Let's pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks that you have been present with us throughout this long and tiring pandemic. That you were with us before that and you'll continue to be present with us, holding us close with your steadfast love that endures forever. Grant us faith and confidence to rest in that steadfast love that we might find peace and hope, encouragement and even courage to act and to live as your people as signs of your presence here and now as we love one another, as we share the good news that you heard our burning cry and you provide for all of our needs in this life and through your Son, Jesus Christ, into the next life because of your steadfast love that abides forever and in which we rest. Give us faith to rest and to live out of that steadfast love. We love you, Lord. Thanks so much for loving us. Amen. Amen. We join together in praying the prayer that our Lord taught us, a model prayer, the Lord's Prayer. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And since we usually premiere this on a Thursday evening, we end with Luther's evening prayer. You can share and pray that with the words on the screen. Let's pray. We, we give, give thanks, thanks to you, you Heavenly Father, Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins, where we have done wrong, and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. May the God of steadfast love give you peace, grace, and mercy throughout all your life that you might live as his beloved child. God be with you. Hope to see you in worship soon. Good night.